Alright, now comes the question of what to do. So, somewhere, somehow, Chibi has found things to bark at, but I don't know where or when. Which is kind of tricky to, to deal with. Chibi has barked at something on this mountain at some point. I don't know what. Because Shibi was not near me when that happened each time. I suspect that Shibi was trying to take some kind of path. That I myself had not taken to follow me. And then found something to park at while doing so. I don't really know how to use that to locate what Chibi had found before. Because on multiple occasions at the bottom of the mountain, Chibi has barked at something. While I was nowhere near Chibi. Balloons everywhere. That was near Cosmos, so I can try going through Cosmos again and see if she barks anything there. So I feel like this section here merits some kind of interesting name. Rather than just being called Lily or whatever. It's also a bit difficult just to keep the dog with you in a place as big as this, where you're usually going as fast as you are here. So I'd be surprised if there was something else down here, kind of hidden, underneath in the cosmos. There are also some things that kind of surprised me, like there is that jump you can do into Cosmos from the area in the center. Is that Rose? I really don't remember the name. Oh, Sunflower, I think. And there doesn't seem to be anything off of there to find or do from what I've seen. seemed very strange to me. So Chibi has nothing to say here, for instance? Over here, above me now, is where I'd expect to find something more interesting. Geez, Chibi can run up anything. But there wasn't that I could find. Where'd Chibi just go? Stupid people. Nothing. And there's still more parts of the mountain that I can explore, certainly. And I definitely don't claim to have explored everything here.
And of all these places I've explored, I don't know if I've explored them with Chibi. Which would probably be worth doing. For instance. Stop already. I can't get off the skis until I stop. There we go. I saw it, Chibi. Okay. Frumpy. Wonderful. I always wanted to be frumpy. So it, I believe, leaves a number of things here to find it too. If I remember correctly. I've already gone down the left there, haven't I? Yes, because that's a leads to the jump. from one, one mouth to another. Come on, Chibi. I feel like I probably have everything on this side. And I'm not going to guarantee that I have everything down in the resort either, but... It feels like it should be pretty likely at this point that I do. Considering how much I looked there. It's hard to be certain. I don't know if I ever got a photo here or not. to know if I've got all the photos so far. Oh, I get it. Just play totally random sound clips every single time someone talks to you. See, why couldn't they name this area after the anacondas, for instance? And so they named it Daisy. He's not so fast going down hills, unfortunately. I suspect there's still something here that I was missing. I doubt the the thing she was barking at was that chest that I just picked up, so there's probably still something somewhere else to find on the mountain. Ice here looks so weird. It's like phosphorescent. On well, this road I figure I might as well just head on down. Bore and then we'll Nice receptionist how we're doing on finding things. Oh, 
coming down for a slightly different way than usual, I guess. With how many times you've gone down here, I feel like I need to do something to mix it up. Because everything leads to bore eventually, usually. Six of seven, so there's one left. Six of seven. Right. No. No recommendations. I don't want that highlighted on my map. But that leads me to believe the next is probably on the mountain still, because I'm pretty sure that the chest I just found was not what she was barking at. I guess I could check. And sometimes I assume that I've gone to photo somewhere, it turns out I haven't, so. Of course, you can't get it with a nice blue sky, but oh well. Should try something more down the middle. Is there a light? Is it really that tropical? It's a spaceship, isn't it? Maybe it's the yeah, you know, using all the more eastern designs right now. I don't remember. I should do some more stuff in the villa after this too, I guess. the right and then go to the left is what it is so one little thin bath I'm not sure I've really gone through much did I already miss it and I didn't go to the hmm it's very hard to make out the map at the top there This where I want to go through. And then left here, I think. I still think whatever I'm looking for would be closer to the bottom, but... Well, she hasn't barked or anything, so I doubt that there's anything there. No. <laughs> Bye, Jamie. Whoa! Can't even tell where the sky starts. Disorienting. I think you need to be on a certain incline, and maybe 
also be in like thick snow like you find on the on the mountain I'm not sure not precisely makes you kick off that way but I like it because it's a lot faster Narrow, jeez. Oh. And do the other people just like go down here? Oh, no, I, I get it. No, I found this before. There's not much point in wasting time. I'm not just going straight back up here. I never managed to make that jump before, is what happened. Okay. Now I know how to get there. You just go down this path and eventually you can go for the jump. So I'm not entirely sure where Chibi was or where they were barking, honestly, but oh well. Worked out somehow. So that's, I believe, all the treasure chests at all the resorts found now. Very nice. Uh, can you actually go down there, or is that just... It's a place you can go down. anything interesting there. Well, I've already been down this side, so let's try the other side. us on photos. So if you were to find it at night either way. During the day, I don't know if we got them all or not. Depending on whether or not the photo I just took at the top of the mountain was the last one or not. We may be done here during the day. Hopefully. We've definitely found all of the Treasure chests everywhere now. I think the only thing left at this point to, to discover is the cliff to jump off of in the beach resort, and I think I know which, which cliff that is. I have a suspicion. Oh. 
actually. I have two ideas. Well, one of those I'm pretty sure I've done. So I think I know. We'll have to see. I only don't know off the top of my head where a sword is, I don't think. There's one thing that I had in mind that could have been a sword that I just don't remember very well, but if that was the case, I would have already jumped off of it, so we'll have to see. Wait, do you count as someone I can talk with out of curiosity? I feel like in the other games people would react more to you doing things other than just waving at them. Ah, still six or seven. I don't know. So still one photo to find here. Wherever that is. During the day. And then something some number to find at night as well. Okay. Well, in that case. That'll be it for this episode of Let's Play We Can Snowboard. I'll be back. Yeah. After another week's break. And we'll probably move on to looking for remaining silver keys. And then we'll be pretty much done with this resort, assuming we can find the photo spots in the process. But we've pretty much conquered this place so far outside of the the resort itself we're pretty much done with now. Other than just how to do the, the mini games. And then we'll be done with all the resort stuff. Aside from the the one thing in the beach resort. And we'll just have to do some small things like getting the last couple gold keys by like jumping off the cliffs and things like that, or jumping into chasms, etc. Wonderful. Right. She actually interrupts her animation to turn around too, that's kind of funny. All right. Bye, everyone.